and welcome to a brand new episode of Sun of a Gun. I hope you all are doing fine. What I have got for you today is a 1961 model old Madras U-Frame G2. Whenever I think about this bike, the first thought that comes to my mind is the word perfect. This machine right here is beyond any doubt the best G2 that I've ever ridden in my life. So without wasting any of your good time, let's quickly proceed to today's video. How do we define G2 and the whole obsession towards that in a sentence? Completely breathtaking aesthetics combined with sheer motorcycling quality, synonymous with British heritage, making it every vintage collector's favorite. Out of all those classic brands including BSA, Triumph, Norton, Ariel, AJS and Matchless, what sets Royal Enfield and its flag bearer the 350 Bullet aside is the ease of maintenance even after production had completely stopped years back. It's your day-to-day fill-and-ride motorcycle, rather than park and adore. The machine we have got here today is the highest level of G2 Masterclass and there is nothing further I could literally expect. The original chassis and engine with the Redditch and Madras factory stamps intact in their deep engravings is probably the biggest catch. Clubbed with original groove fenders, original chrome tank and monogram, the original Albion gearbox with markings and all those most exotic and rare spares, this bullet is a complete treat to the eyes. Last but most important is the ride quality which combines great pickup as well as the trademark slow cruise in 4th gear without any need to shift gears in between. All this makes this beast the most sought after vintage ride in town. Now let's try to get her running.
Now that we have seen the bike in full, let me answer some frequently asked questions. Question number one. How user friendly are these machines? If you are into the habit of riding your bullet in a decent way and you change your engine oil on time and you take good care of your battery, then these machines are very easy to use and maintain. Let's take them up for a small task as we speak. We have got another 68 model V2 apart from my personal 71 model along with our U-Frame 61 here. I would pick these oldies or any new Royal Enfield single 365 days a year. Question number 2. What about maintenance and spares? Any ordinary CI bullet spares could be used on a G2 and they are all easily available in the market till date. Even those rare vintage British spares are available in the market at a price. I had personally rebuilt a G2 from almost nothing. Question number 3. How much does these machines cost? That's a very relative and dynamic question to answer. The pricing depends on numerous aspects such as vintage registration, originality, amount of authentic spares present and condition. An original old Madras G2 with above average originality and condition will cost close to 2 lakhs at the moment. Final question. What's the minimum speed that these machines could do in 4th year without using clutch and non off -air? I would say 20 km per hour for the 61 and 68 and 25 for the basics.
As the spirometer cable was broken, I couldn't show you the reading but I could comfortably write in what I assume is 20 km per hour in 4th gear without any hiccups and I could even take off from a standstill in 4th gear with ease. And there is a lot of power in this machine and I never felt the need to drop a gear and accelerate. In other words, this is everything that I expect from a G2 motorcycle. With that, we have come to the end of today's video. I hope you all have liked it. Kindly post your valuable feedback in the comment section. Thanks for watching, son of a gun.